Okay, uh, what's up guys? We're today we're going to install two mods, the uh, inventory tweaks and not enough items. And we're going to need Minecraft Forge for that, and that would be four downloads. So what you do first is um open your taskbar, type in run, press enter, and enter again. And then you have your dot Minecraft. So say you have this dot Minecraft, you may want to move it to your, your desktop or delete it since it may contain some folders from 1.5.1 and it's safer to just start fresh. So to get a uh, new dot Minecraft, you launch your um, Minecraft for 1.6 and as you can see, there's a new dot Minecraft being created in your roamings folder. So once it's loaded, it should tell you that you should log in. Can I get? Let's log in. All right. So once you're logged in, you press play, and what it well, when you press play, it just downloads all the files that's needed to play Minecraft. And Forge needs the uh, those files just to inst install it. So while that loads, uh, let's open your browser. And uh, once your browser is loaded, you copy the first link in the description below, which is minecraftforge.net. And you go to the latest version for 1.6.2 and you click the installers in the download section. And it'll bring you to this add fly page. Uh, let's stay on page because we want to actually uh, download the Minecraft Forge. Okay, there we go, skip add. Okay, so this window should pop up, just click save file. Okay, once it's uh, finished downloading, go to your uh, downloads page or your downloads library and uh, double click Minecraft Forge. So this, this Minecraft Forge window will, will pop up. It has like install client, install server, just click OK. And it'll say successfully installed client profile Forge and press OK. Now Go to your uh, dot Minecraft and um, right click new and folder. So this uh, creates a new folder and then you name it mods. Okay, now to download inventory tweaks and not enough item. Okay, so your Minecraft will just close it. So let's go to this. Let's go to the second link. It's just inventory tweaks, copy paste. So it'll bring you to this page for inventory tweaks. You just scroll down and there should be two links. You can click either or, it doesn't matter. I'll just click the first one. First one usually indicates that it's uh, the latest version. And then you click this orange arrow that says download. This one's not the right one. It just tricks you. And you'll see, yeah, it'll say inventory tweak. So click save file. Let's close that. Okay. And now to download not enough items, which is this link. It'll be, that link will be also be in the description below. So you control copy, just control P and then control V into the browser. So not enough item will bring you to this page. For not enough item, you'll need uh, two files. So you scroll down, not that downloads, so it'll be this downloads, the downloads area. Okay, so you'll need the not enough item 1.6.2 mods. Just click that one and go back to the page. 
and you'll also need the chicken core 1.6.2. So you have two tabs up at the top. So just wait for your five seconds and click here to continue. Okay. So you skip add for the that one. This one you wait five seconds. So yeah, that's the first tab. First tab is the non of item. Click save. And this one, this one should be your chicken core. And click save file. Okay, let's close everything. Yeah, we're done with the browser. No, we're not. I'll reopen it. Well, you have your downloads page, so that's all we need. So once you have your downloads page, go to your .minecraft, right? Yeah, .minecraft, then you double click the mod folder that you created. Should be empty since it's brand new. And then drag your code chicken car there, your not enough item 1.6, and your inventory tweaks. Now let's open Minecraft, and I'll show you how to use them. All right, so once the, the Minecraft have been loaded, yeah, you go to your profile, and you can, there should be a new profile, which is Forge. Select that, and I'll bring you to this page. Just click play, and then click, click play again. Okay, so once Minecraft loads, it'll say six mods loaded. If you go to your your mods tab, you'll see you have Minecraft Forge, mod loader, color pack, the code chicken, core not item, and inventory tweaks. Click done. So if you go to multiplayer, oh, it seems that once you delete your .minecraft, all your servers went bye bye too. So if you have a backup, which I do, you can open your this is your old .minecraft, old .minecraft. That'll be on the right, and your new .minecraft on the left. Go to your roaming and then .minecraft, and your old one should have it like a server .dat. Just drag that into .minecraft. Okay, and then. If you go press cancel, multiplayer, and all your servers should be right there. Alright, so let's go to a server to showcase the amount of items and the, the uh, inventory tweaks. So let's try the MCUK family server. This server is a, a sub server which you have to like sub to a YouTube channel and to apply on their, their website. It's kind of easy. Alright, so this is loaded. Um, oh man, that's my setting. Yeah, what, if you do your dot mic after setting, it will be different also. Like, I'm not used to a large uh, GUI. So let me change that to GUI to medium. Alright, so I'm going to go to a friend's house because he plays on this server. Do slash home. Alright, so. What inventory tweak does is um, it basically uh, sorts chests out for you. And this is kind of like, since I don't have Optifine installed, so say you have like a chest and you just, you're too lazy to uh, just sort it out. So you have um, um, this four options. So if you press this one, just default sorting, just does everything, I believe, in ID order. Oh uh, no, it's just, I believe, yeah, ID order, from the highest ID to lowest ID. You have also sort in columns and sort in rows, which is kind of useful if you're lazy to sort. And also, another good thing about inventory tweaks is that if you have multiple stacks of um, of items, it'll just automatically swap it to that item. So if I place it, and you can see it just changes it automatically. It also works with tool also if you break it. And it, if you have the same like iron pick, it'll just automatically switch to it. Uh, one bad thing about this mod is that if uh, the server has no cheat on, um, the server will notify the admin on saying that you moved the inventory too quick, so they might be suspicious that you may be hacking or all that. Uh, anything about inventory tweaks? I believe that's it. 
Okay, for a non-F item, if you press E, you'll notice that you get like a brand. Or oh, yeah, once you open E, you get a a list of items. Yes, all the items in the game. If you hover over it, it'll tell you the ID also, along with this, the item name. All right, so um, to activate the uh, the item identifier, that's pretty useful. You press E and click Options at the bottom left. It's in World. Yeah, it's in World. So click Shown, and you can just drag this little image anywhere you want, and it'll just let's put it on the top top left, and then. Press escape and then back and back and as you can see it's it'll show um, the uh, any block that you you close so if you go to the door yeah, I won't show like it'll be a certain distance just for uh, the mod to identify the, the item so right here you can see time block crafting table weighted pressure plate heavy and yeah, that's it. So I hope you have fun using this mod and let's hope it installed successfully for you guys. And I'll see you guys next time.